Hello and welcome to another tutorial on my channel Create by K. My hook size is 2.75 mm and I start with a magic ring. Now I make a chain and then I go into the ring with a single crochet. And now I go with four more single crochet into the ring. At the end, I will have five single crochet. I have three, four, and five. Now I will close my ring, find my first single crochet. Go with my hook right there and I make a slip stitch. That means I will pull through my loops right there. For round two, I chain one and I go back in the same space with two single crochet. So I have one, I go back with one more single crochet. And now I move to the next stitch and I make two single crochet in the stitch as well. And then I move to the next one where I go with two single crochet. So this round is increasing. I go in each stitch with two single crochet. At the end of the round, I will have 10 single crochet. Let me count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And now I go, where is my first single crochet? And I make a slip stitch right there. Now I go and I chain 1, 2, 3, 4, five and six I make sure they are a little bit loose because I will go in each bump in the back and make a loop and I will keep that loop on my hook and I will go first right here on this bump like that now I grab the yarn and I make a loop and I go to the next bump and I do the same and to the next one and one more bump right here And I have two, four, six, and now I go in the same stitch and make another loop. And now I have seven loops on my hook. I grab the yarn and I pull through the first two loops. Now grab the yarn and pull through the next one loop. Make sure this loop right here is not too tight. And then I pull through the next one loop, one loop, one loop, and the last loop. Now I chain two, one and two. And I go into the bump right here. This is the first one. And I make a loop. And then I move to the next one and I make another loop. And then to the next bump, make a loop to the next one. In each bump, making my loops. Oopsie, what's going on over here? Okay. 
two, four, six, eight. And now I go in the same space, the same one, the same stitch and make another loop. It's the same stitch right there. And to complete is exactly how I complete the other um, round or row. And I grab the end, pull through two, then pull through one, again one, 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 and the last one. Now I go into the bump and I make a slip stitch. Go into the next one and I do the same. A slip stitch. Now I chain two. One and two. I go into the bumps to my chains and make loops. Oh, two loops right there. Then I move to the bumps where I go with loops. I have two, four, six, eight. Now I go and move to the next stitch and make another loop. Now I have nine. Grab the yarn, pull through two, and then I pull through one. Now I go on this bump and I make a slip stitch, then to the next one, make another slip stitch. I move to the bumps where I make loops and keep the loops on my hook. Two, four, six, and now I go in the same stitch with another loop. I have seven loops. Grab the end, pull through two, pull through one, and I keep going. And now I go in each bump and make slip stitch. One, two, three, four, five, and one more in the same stitch right here, six. And I have my first petal. Now I go and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Make sure they are loose. And I go to the first chain right here. This is a little bit difficult to go because it's very tight over there. Like it's very close and then to the others bumps of each chain and I make a loop and now I go to the next stitch and make a loop now I grab the yarn and pull through the two and then pull through one and one and one till I'm done with my loops. Then I will chain two and I will repeat everything I did right here. And at the end, I should have five petals in total. Now, right here, my last slip stitch Instead to go on this um, stitch, I'll go right here. See, right there. 
and I make my slip stitch, my last slip stitch. Now go ahead and make one more. So I'll need two flowers. And what I do now is I go in the same space, but from the back. So I go in the same space from back. Then I grab this loop and I will pull through in the back. And I go like this with my hook on that loop. Now I grab the other flower and I'll start right here. But I will take only the back loop. Go with my hook, back loop on that stitch. And then I need the back loop from the other side. So I go right here. This is a little bit tight. And now I grab the yarn and I pull through all of them. And I go back to the other piece, back loop to the next stitch and then back loop to this side of the flower and I make the slip stitch. And again, I go to the other one and the other one from the other side and make the slip stitch. And I do like this all the way around, like with all my petals. And now I go with some stuffing in. In each petal and just a little bit in the middle. And now I keep going with my slip stitches. In the back loop of my both flowers. And my last slip stitch. I will cut the yarn and then I will hide the yarn somewhere right there. 